Hello, all in all. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mona Cottage Books. I'm Selby, and today I'm going to be sharing some of my favorite picture books. <music> Okay, I've got a stack of books and then I've got another little short list of books that I don't have on hand. These are just picture books that I love or that my daughter loves um, and hopefully you find something that your kids would like. So I'm going to start off with Miss Rumphius. This is a, a gorgeous sweet book. It's about this older lady who kind of talks about her past, her childhood, what she's done in her life and then she decides that at the, the the tail end of her life she wants to do something that makes the world more beautiful and she ends up just planting flowers and the art is gorgeous and this is oh, I mean we love this book so much it's all warped and we spilled water on it um but I remember reading this as a kid and so then my mom bought it for my daughter when she was little and it's just a super sweet book um award-winning and everything like that so I would definitely check that out if you want a sweet This next book is uh, on my list simply because it's about cats fighting over a sausage. I mean, that's all it is. It's this fun art style. I like the colors and the and the art in here, but also, I mean, they're just fighting over a sausage. And it's funny, I don't spoil the ending to give it away, but it's just one of those funny, humorous books that my daughter loves and I love, and it's a sweet, fun, quick read. So you can't go wrong with books that make noise, basically. So this is the story orchestra. It's Swan Lake. And if you haven't seen these books before, they come in, there's a lot of different ones. Um, but basically it tells the story of Swan Lake. Uh, see if I can get to one. So you read the story here and then. And each page has a little clip of music um, from the actual ballet. And this is, it's a beautiful, beautifully illustrated book. You get the, the story and then you get to hear the music. And then in the back, there's even like some talk, uh, some descriptions about the music and the composer and all of that kind of stuff. And so it's a great way to learn about music and theater and uh, plays and things like that. Uh, so this one is the is Swan Lake because this is the one that we have, but I think they've got the Nutcracker and a couple different other ones. So if you haven't seen those, uh, my daughter loves it. Here I've got another classic. I mean, pretty much anything from Tommy De Paola is classic. My mom loved Tommy De Paola, so I think we read all of them as a kid. Um, but this one, when I found it, I knew that my daughter would love it because it's about Stega Nona, which is kind of like a witch. Um, and she has this helper, uh, and this magic pot of, uh, pasta. She can make it just like make pasta. She tells her little helper not to get into the pasta pot while she's gone, but he doesn't listen and pasta comes out and starts to take over the town. And <laughs> I mean, kids just love this. My daughter thinks it's hilarious. And it's kind of one of those like, teaching a children the lesson of like we told you not to do this thing and then this thing happened and here's the consequences but it's not um terrible it's kind of a funny way to, to ki teach kids about consequences for your actions um so that's taken on by Tommy Dave Paola. Now this one's a little bit different so this is actually uh, kind of I would consider like a non-fiction or a, a children's narrative non-fiction it's the story of this little bluebird and it goes through the whole cycle of this bluebird's life. We actually got this from the doctor's office, like um, when we lived in the United States. Was, I thought that was funny. Um, so it starts out, oh, I'm a little chick. And it rhymes, at last, the eggshell cracked in two. I wiggled my way free. Hello there, my little chick, my mommy said to me. And then, you know, the chick grows up and it flies and it migrates. Um, and then at the end, there's a little section where it talks about like the life cycle of bluebirds and kind of teaches kids a little bit more about like migration and things like that. So I really like that. It was a, it's a really fun one. And my daughter really loves it for some reason. I would, she's not like super into birds or anything, but she just thinks, I think the art and the concept and how sweet it is. She just really liked that one. So if you buy this one, it's a really good one. Okay, so now I've got a couple that I don't actually have on hand. 
Um, but I just love these books and so I will put the titles or the pictures up here. My first one is I Don't Like Koala and this book I thought was hilarious. Um, it's about this kid that gets this stuffed koala as a present and like yeah the koala is a little creepy and the kid's like I don't like this thing. Um, but the parents are thinking oh like you would love this. Um, so like he tries to hide it, he tries to get rid of it, he tries to leave it behind places and his parents or somebody's always like, oh, here's your koala bag. And he's just like, I hate this thing. And then she, he gets scared of the dark and he like finds something that's more scary than the koala. And then at the end he's like, okay, koala is cool. Like I'll just hold on to this thing. Um, so it's just a, a fun, funny book. Um, and I like the art and stuff in it. Now here's another one from my childhood that I remember growing up and I loved the art and it's called Grandfather Twilight and there was just something about this book that was so calming to me as a kid um, that, that the art, the story, whatever it was about it, I just anytime I would look at this book I would just be like oh this is so calming like I want to live in the woods with this grandpa ghost? I am not quite sure what was going on now that I think about it but you know, I really like the, the art and the story and uh, maybe you will too. So the last book on my list for today of random picture books that I just like or my daughter likes is Hank and the Egg. So Hank and the Egg is actually a non-fiction, not non-fiction, is a wordless picture book. That's what I meant to say. Um, so there's no words in this book, but there are beautiful pictures. So the person who created this book they made all of the elements that are in each picture. So they made Hank and the egg and the forest and everything. And it's just beautiful the way they did it. Um, and I've just really enjoyed the artwork in it. And it's a sweet little story of this like bear, I think bear trying to help put this egg back in its nest. Um, so it's a very sweet story. I love wordless picture books and I'm going to do a whole video on wordless picture books and how to use a wordless picture book with your kids to get them involved and interested in books. <clears throat> but for right now, that is my last recommendation for this kind of completely random children's picture book video. Um, if you like more of this kind of randomness, then like and subscribe and I will keep bringing you more books.